Hello everyone, Martin here, back with uh, some more Legacy. Uh, making a video today playing uh, the four colored Doomsday list. Tinkering a little bit with the sideboard. Um, also, I'm not sure about the main deck, like the preordain here. I'm not sure about that. That That's also something I'm considering switching uh, uh, around. But yeah, I decided to include Emrakul and... Um, oops, not showing all the sideboard here. Emrakul and Sheldog Isle, and because I've been running into some like more four and five color control decks, and I think Emrakul is a good, uh, you know, I, I I like having that um, that option post sideboard, and I think actually in those matchups it's correct to board out the one ring, and then just board in. Um, the Emrakul, the Sheldog Isle, the Boseju to answer Dress Down or Leyline Binding. And then maybe, like, uh, right now I have a Dothy Voidwalker here. This slot is also a little bit, I'm not sure. Like, ideally, I, I want, I, I would like two more sideboard side slots. So I would have another, so two Dothy Voidwalkers, and then, like, two Dismember. But right now I'm running one of each. The Dismember, like I've said previously, is obviously mainly there to kill uh, Magi of the Moon. Um, ideally, I want two, but yeah, you can't have everything here. I, I for a while I ran two Dismember and two Dothy Voidwalker and then no uh, Force of Negation, but that, that also felt like really, like it felt really naked. So yeah, it is what it is. Um, yeah, let's jump into league, see how we go. Here we go on the draw, sorry, on the play for uh, round number one. Let's go. Yeah, I'll keep this. I like this hand. Um, so we can either play Basic Island to protect ourselves versus uh, Wasteland, or we can play Underground Sea, and then if we hit any Fetch Land or Petal, uh, we are set for a turn two Doomsday, if that's what we want to do. Hmm. We hit neither, and I already have a cantrip in the form of Consider. I think I'm going to shuffle this. Oh, the old play a dual land, ponder, shuffle always indicates kind of like weakness, I think. But... That's not, like, in terms of your mana base. Like, it's like I'm looking for a, for a land. Ooh, great for this. This is probably Painter, then. Yep. All right. So we really want to get, uh, get a move on, then. Um, let's, uh, let's play Ponder off of the Underground Sea. They can't Red Blast right now, so maybe I should have... Okay, actually, I'm, I am going to take this Scrub Land. And then I'm going to play Lotus Petal, uh, not Lotus Petal, sorry, Island, and I'm going to consider a way that, uh, the Teferi, first thing I thought I had Preordain in hand, that was bad. I was supposed to, yeah, I wasn't supposed to do <laughs> go like this. Um, I didn't really think about it the way I stacked the Ponder, just thinking I, was, I wasn't going to get any of those cards. All right, so they have a Saga, which means they're going to have a Grindstone in like a couple of turns, and there's a Painter. Everything's blue. The opal is on. So I think it's go time here. Oh, everything is red. Well, I mean, that way they can't pyroblast. Um, they can't pyroblast my doomsday. They can pyroblast brainstorm. Um, I, I do have the turn, uh, the same turn win here. Well, I guess maybe not because uh, Thos is in my hand. But, uh, <clears throat> is this correct? Is there a world where I instead cast Teferi plus, then Teferi just gets blasted, and we're sort of none the, none the wiser? I think I'm going to cast Doomsday here. I'm, the only thing is I'm a little bit unsure about the pile. So we can't go off through Cavern. Uh, at least if we want to win on the same turn. Um, but maybe we don't have to win on the same turn. Like, the Saga's not going to pop next turn. Maybe, like, and I'm at 20 even, so I'm going to be at 10. They have two power on, on board, so that's not a lot. Um, Edge of Autumn. Maybe Street Wraith. Street Wraith, plural. So, and, and then, like, I don't know what, a Force of Will? 
So let's say we brainstorm into Force of Will, then we have four stays, and then next turn we just cycle through the pile into the cavern. I like that. Um, so let's put cavern on the bottom and then stack them wraith, uh, edge, uh, like this. And do I brainstorm now to get value out of my days? I think I probably do. Okay, days are brainstorm just resolved. Okay, so let's put back Street Wraith and Edge of Autumn. Yeah. I want to keep the Oracle in hand just because if that ever goes to the graveyard, we've lost. Um, but let's see here. I feel somewhat fine with this this pile here. If, if they just have a, a grindstone now, I'm going to force it. And then if they if they pyroblast and I daze, and then it's going to take, like right now they have three mana. Oh, that was like part one of what they needed. Okay, Goblin Engineer. So Goblin Engineer gets grindstone. And then they have the win. So I don't think we can allow this to happen. So let's uh, let's force. Okay, that just happened. I'm, it feels like they don't have a, a blast, which is just funny because like that's this deck always have, <laughs> always has uh, like red blast. It feels like three mana, fable. Sure. All right, looks like we're gonna get get to do what we wanted to do. I'm at seven, I have two Street Wraiths taking me to three, so if they had Bolt, but they don't have mana, so. Uh, and we also have the Days, so it's okay. Let's cycle this Edge of Autumn. The Merfolk, and Thassa's Oracle, here we go. Yeah, so they, it looks like they didn't have the Blast, so we probably could have gone for the same turn win on the turn we cast Doomsday, but I, yeah. I think this worked out pretty pretty well as well. All right. So sideboarding wise, we have some decisions to make. Um, Emrakul is good in that it insulates us versus uh, their combo at least a little bit, but it is somewhat risky putting Doomsday on the stack versus Painter. Um, I like Dothy. I like creatures um, and like bringing in removal. And I think even like Boseju and probably Dismember as well. So that's like 11 cards. It's a lot. So what what is cuttable here? I think Teferi is somewhat uh, not not that great. They have a pretty easy time gumming up the board with like little critters. We are bringing in removal for that, but and it also just eats a red blast for days. Uh, Veil vale Summer is good. Or at least it has text. It's not great, but... We just saw them named Red, so maybe that's a that's a a, a thing. I, yeah, I don't know. Um, this obviously only works if if it names uh, painter names blue or or black. Um, I'm gonna board out the faster elements of the deck. Like I don't want to try and go off with LED, so I think we can also board out some, if not all, petals and the cyclers. And then, like, one copy of Doomsday. Might even want to board out two copies of Doomsday. Nah, okay, let's try this. Yeah. We're on 20 blue cards. That's okay, but it's not great. Ideally, you want, I think, like, 22-ish or, or even more. That's how I feel anyways. All right, let's keep this. It can... Uh, it plays magic. Uh, opponent keeps seven as well. I'm gonna f float this uh, fetch land because if somehow they resolve or they they put Magas of the Moon on the stack next turn, I'm gonna fetch. I think uh, Tundra and float white. Okay, I'm just gonna fetch Tundra then. They would have if they had looked in the in the pile, they would have seen the One Ring. But they might name Teferi or they might just name like the Cyclers. Teferi and the Cyclers are not no longer in the deck, so I'd be kind of pleased with that. Okay, 
and they are at 18. This could be uh, could become like a damage race. I'm just gonna say land go here. And I think I might brainstorm next turn depending on what happens. Oh, Saga. Saga I'm not too thrilled about. Like Saga is what, that kind of can tangle with our creature plan. Um, okay, I think I'm gonna I am gonna ponder instead. I would love to find some action here. Oh, and they have a pyroblast. Oh, they want to use it. Yeah, okay. Pyroblast this. Gonna enough brainstorm instead then. Um, let's. I think even though like cavern on Praetor would be kind of nice. I think. I think maybe I get rid of one of the forces actually, and then the underground sea. And I think I'm gonna fetch trop. Have all, all my colors. I know that means I'm sort of a bit further away from casting Doomsday than what's ideal, but um, yeah, and this is what we want. All right, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna draw the one ring here. And uh, and pass. So they likely will keep open the mana to be able to make a uh, make a friend over there. Hopefully they're not playing more than one pithing needle. But if they get a welder on, they can like uh, start like welding out their needle and then weld it in. Um, okay, I am gonna name I guess Praetor. I'll try how you pronounce that actually. Praetor. And the one ring. It's gonna get you. Yep. And they make a friend in response to the trigger. I suppose that's as good as time as good a good as good a time as any, is what I'm trying to say. Um yeah, might as well just draw the card now. Okay. So hopefully nothing too insane happens on this turn, and then I get to See where the deck takes me. Like, I love having access to Pernicious Deed versus Painter. I'm immediately regretful that it's not in this sideboard. Can you like, just see how insane that would have been here? Okay, so they found the Grindstone. No artifact lands. Goblin Engineer. I think I let the engineer uh, come into play and then plow it. Doesn't mean I'm like up against it here with these these big guys. Um, they get the painter. All right, so they pass. I take one damage. Well, there's a doomsday. So if I could find like a dark ritual off of this this brainstorm. That'd be kind of interesting. A pyroblast. I think I daze. Pick up my land so I can ensure a land drop if, even if I don't hit a land here. And there is a dark ritual. And there's another the one ring. Um, okay, so I haven't made my land drop yet. Now I, re I regret the cavern being on Praetor. Um, but so I can Dark Ritual off Underground Sea, and then I cast Doomsday, and then I, yeah, then I draw um, Thassa plus Force of Will, and then I, I have an untapped Tundra, I haven't made my land drop, and so I use Lauren Revealed to, off of the Cavern to get uh, another card out of the deck. So that means putting back the one ring and the land. Yeah, let's try this. Mind break trap. Hmm. I guess I daze that too. Then I even am able to like force of will if they have another mind break trap. Yeah, feeling pretty good here. All right, so we need the Thassa. And let's say Force of Will. That won't matter. I, th I suppose it's better if it's Days then, actually. Because um, I only have one blue card to pitch. So Days, Thassa, 
There needs to be a land I can get. Let's just make it the basic island. And then I guess the Emrakul and Sheldog Isle, just in case there's a third game, uh, there's no need for them to know that those are in there. Uh, where's the Sheldog Isle? Er, there we go. So, uh, the One Ring draws Thassa plus Days. I then, yeah, Lorna reveals for that. Excellent. Island on the bottom, the two hideaway cards, so to speak, in the middle. And then we... We draw two cards, and we island cycle, and Bob's your uncle. Woohoo! All right, excellent. Off to winning start versus a, a tr traditionally unpleasant matchup. Great. Back for round number two. All right, uh, on the draw with a power house of a hand. Going to keep this. Yeah, I just... Would love not to get, like, griefed or something. Oh, it is uh, an Underground Sea matchup. I'm going to float the uh, the Flooded Strand here. Flooded Strand gets me a trop that lets me Veil Summer in, in the face of uh, Discard while we wait for one more turn. And it also means I have both Force and Veil back up for my, my first... or when, when I put Doomsday on the stack. Basic Island... Polluted Delta into Basic Island. Smells like combo. Ooh. Pop the Beanstalk. Yep. You may have that. Well, so if I try and resolve, I, I think I'm going to try and resolve the Doomsday here and not use the Veil because then I can win on the same turn. But we shall see. They might also be worried about, like, I'm signposting the Veil off this trop, so they might, like, save their force or something. I don't know. So they do force. Pitching a force of negation. Okay, I'm going to let them draw a card, actually, because I don't want, like, if they have another force, I want them to use it on, on my force of will here. Um, uh, maybe I should have pitched the Ponder instead. Okay, Doomsday resolves. Okay, they could play us here and like have the sandbag another force. I don't think there are that many decks that play main deck endurance here. I do think these decks sometimes play main deck dress down, so I, that's why I'm sort of pushing for it on this turn. So I'm not gonna play around the endurance or this the the hidden force. Oops, we don't need brainstorm. Uh, we need uh, consider. This is the standard pile. Uh, two cyclers, an LED, and the fish. Okay, so I guess they could have days, actually. I didn't think about that. Um, the Bayou Basic Island deck could certainly have days if it is that bug, uh, Pokemoki type deck. So I kind of hope they don't. Oh no, there was a pause. Okay, what would we rather have here? I think like we're gonna lose if this if we don't win right now, so it's, it probably doesn't matter. Um, let's put back, I think, ponder and consider. Play the LED. They have a daze and they're not using it right now. I feel that's pretty crazy. But more, it feels more like they might have endurance, or I guess force. And yeah, I don't know. All right. Do you have my number here? Feels like something would happen. No, they just had nothing. All right, cool. So this is a beanstalk deck. So I'm I'm thinking this is a a sort of TK Strachan ish deck. It means they don't have uh, we don't have Triumph of Saint Catherine yet, unfortunately. So it's, it's not exactly that. But I think like. I like the carpets, and I like the Boseju, the Emrakul, and the Sheldog Isle um, because they are sort of like the, the Sheldog Isle and Emrakul are traditionally kind of hard for that deck to answer. They need to ferry or Wasteland or Caracas or something, and even Caracas and Wasteland. Well, Wasteland would be bad, but even Caracas, like you, you still get the time walk, and you, you then you still have. Uh, 
like Cavern and Thassa, and then the Boseju can like beautifully answer the uh, the dress down. Um, the question is if we want something like uh, like Dothi. Is a Dothi is a pretty disruptive creature versus them. They are like an Uro deck and whatever. And like if they cycle a ley line of uh, uh, not ley, a Lauren reveal or whatever, but yeah, it also depends on how much we want to board out. Let's board out the the lines out diamond and the consider, but then let's also board out at least one, probably actually all of the cyclers, and then I think honestly the one ring just does not line up well versus the up the beanstalk. Uh, Shouldered like depends on how much removal they have, but I would rather have Shouldered than than the one ring I think. Even though, like, I guess they both, they both just kind of suck versus leyline binding. So, is there anything else? Should we have access to some kind of removal here? Like maybe a sorts of plowshares. Maybe even like having two plow is better than having uh, any of the one ring and shouldered. No, maybe I like one more just to have. And I think it's the one ring. Yeah. Uh, so we have five quote unquote business spells. I think that's okay. But ideally, I just want to jam Doomsday early and hard, and then be able to overwhelm them with the the, the super pile. The super pile is um, Sheldog Isle on top. Oh, my kingdom for a land. Oh, bummer. This hand is like, if this Thassa was, uh, was a fetch land, I would be just about ready to pass out. Uh, but I have to mulligan this. Discipline dictates. And yeah, I'll keep this. I'll keep this, and I will um, ship one of the Dark Rituals. But yeah, um, so the super pile is Sheldock Isle, Emra Cold, Boseju, uh, Camera Souls, Thassa. Obviously the bottom three, uh, they don't matter that much. Oh, opponent is Mulligan, five. So they are getting cursed by the draws of the gods of randomness here, it would, it would appear. I think I do ponder here hitting the uh, finding that fetch land means we don't have to worry about uh lord and revealed um having to find a black source and now we can we can dark ritual out the one ring next turn and then with force backup i kind of like that versus the mulligan to five i mean it's also like a resource heavy plan for us they ponder, and we have to like they—they they are an Orcish Bowmaster deck, like one hundred percent. So we do have to worry about that a little bit. They shuffle their library. Ooh, and miss the land drop. All right, really, really hope they're not a Days deck right now. Uh, anything short of that, like obviously, like if they if they double force, then we're both out four cards. Then I have like one more land and a ponder left. Plus uh, a card in hand, like the like a ponder and um, and a cavern. I don't know. It's not a big deal. Don't daze me, bruh. They have force. And they pitch brainstorm. I force back, pitching Lorian revealed. How'd we do? All right, it's in. Sweet. Let's draw a card. It's a polluted delta. And let's hope not to... Wait, did I bring in any plow? Yeah, I brought in one. I'm, now I'm, I'm sort of super worried about Bowmasters. Or not super worried, but just like it would be super annoying. And they found their second land. So I'm going to put uh, Ponder on the stack before I activate the One Ring. So they don't get to get all my draws here. Um, or maybe it's the brainstorm. No, maybe it's activate ring, and then if they flash in bowmasters, I brainstorm in response. Yeah, I do kind of like that. Okay, so they have the bowmasters. That's good for them, and not so good for me. All right, let's uh, let's brainstorm in response. Finding a bail here, I am probably gonna. Oh, I found did even better. I found a daze. Um, okay, let's put back the two lands, and let's daze this Bowmasters. They found the land last turn, and they didn't have the second force. Okay, now I'm going to fetch away the two lands, 
and get a scrubland here and draw two cards. Another days. Another days is not the worst against a uh, a man like a land screwed opponent. They're not exactly land screwed, but yeah, I'm gonna take the uh, the carpet here. Uh, kind of don't want to draw either of the next two cards. But uh, actually, I should probably have stacked it so that I draw the Thassa instead. Rainstorm. Okay. So now I, I, the carpet kind of wants me to wants them to find wants me to want them to find uh, more lands now. What was pitch before it's brainstorm, right? Yeah, brainstorm. And now because of days, like, and they're behind on on mana, if they have bowmasters again, it gets dazed. Like chef's kiss. Um. Okay. So I'm gonna decline. Oh, not decline. Talking like I already have the uh, the thing. Um. Okay. Carpet of flowers. And then I'm gonna fetch into underground sea and then I'm going to uh, go into my second main phase and trigger the carpet only gets one mana because they don't want to be fetching and all that and so I'm gonna I'm gonna cast the doomsday here if they have force then it's like a good exchange on my part and I'm like super far ahead with the ring but um yeah let's see they're fetching this could be Flusterstorm, that would be kind of annoying. Spell Pierce. Do I? I think I draw in response to this. No more Bowmasters. Oh, bummer. Um, yeah, that is Spell Pierced. And now if they actually have, like, a uh, Surgical Extraction, they get to just end me because I didn't bring in Shouldred, so I have no alternative uh, way to win other than, than through Doomsday. Oh, Masters, and me with my Veil of Summer. Yep. All right. So, best draw for me now is another uh, another Doomsday, I believe. Teferi. Teferi is not nothing. Um, actually, yeah. How about this? How about we make blue? Right? And then... We can't draw with the one ring now, and we take six next turn. But I, okay, so I really like this. So I'm gonna play to fairy first, and then plus to fairy, and then I'm gonna play Thassa's Oracle. Um, I might just play Thassa's Oracle first, actually, and we get a sort of a, a super scry looking for Doomsday or Surveiller or whatever. Yeah. We don't want any of these cards. And um, then we plus to fairy. And we pass. And now they don't have an attack on to fairy that's profitable in any ways. It would cost them their bowmaster. And so next turn, if I were to feel like it, I could bounce bowmasters. But I could also bounce the one ring. Oh, we do have this veil hanging out. Okay, so I take three now. I'm down to six, so life total is becoming a thing. Do need to find a doomsday. Uh, how about if we veil of summer? So if we veil of summer... Oh, this is tough. If we Veil of Summer, then it's sort of like we kind of have to, to go this turn, I think, because then we would need the Veil of Summer. I think we can hold off on triggering this carpet. I think I am going to Veil of Summer uh, right now. And then I'm going to start drawing cards. I'll draw four cards with the One Ring. I don't know what they're, what they're waiting on here because Teferi all that and they can't shoot any of my things here um so we can brainstorm see if we find a doomsday so we don't find doomsday we find another teferi which is actually not bad because what i would like to do here 
is actually I would like to bounce my The One Ring and replay it. Um, bouncing The One Ring takes the fairy down to two. And then um, I get The One Ring. They can't attack me, but they have to attack Teferi. Or, I mean, they can attack Teferi. Ta attacking Teferi means I can chump block with my Thassa's Oracle. Tundra. Okay. So let's move into the second main and trigger this. And maybe we st we do spend one of these things. We cast the one ring and then we draw a card. There's a Dothy. That's kind of useless right now, unfortunately. So let's plus uh they're already oh yeah, I bounced, never mind. So let's uh let's replay a tef or play a new Teferi rather. Actually, yeah. Why don't we just do this and we can bounce the bowmaster. Um oops. Bounce the bowmaster and then force it on the way back. Bounce bowmaster. We draw a shell dog isle. Can play out the pedal. And let's pass. <clears throat> okay, we are one. We've lost one Doomsday, uh, and we have twenty-seven cards left in the deck. And next turn, we can have a look at at least three. So they have four cards in hand. We do need to force this uh, Bowmaster, so that takes us to four, and then the One Ring takes us to three. So it does. It is like the last time we have a chance at. Um, at finding this doomsday, I think. Okay, I'm gonna chump block here. Any other creature I don't care about, uh, they can have Murktide. Whatever. It's funny, if I had uh, Dark Ritual out Dothy, I could, and then like force the Bowmaster coming down now, I could replay the Bowmaster, if that's a thing. It's probably not. Wither Bloom Command. Target player mills three cards, that's them. Then they return a card from their graveyard to their hand. Any card, is it a card or a permanent? And then they want to destroy my carpet. My carpet is only making two mana right now. I think it's okay. So, th and they are destroying, no, they're not destroying anything. Or no, they are destroying, but they're not returning anything. Yeah, okay. It's funny they're not playing Bowmasters now. I'm at five. Draw. Whew, okay. Well, I mean, let's draw two to begin with. There's the Doomsday. Okay, so what's the plan here? Uh, well, I mean, I don't really have any way to draw a card. See how much mana we have. So I play a land. I have one, two, three, four, five lands. Play a six land, seven with the pedal, nine with dark ritual. If I want to play the dark ritual, the doomsday, and then what? The second to fairy, and then I bounce something, and I. I draw, what, Lorne Revealed? No, I have to draw... Um, actually, I have a fetch land, right? Yeah, I'll be at two, so that's fine. Um, because Devotion will be three because of Teferi. Okay, so let's play... Let's just make sure I... Ha Do I have anything left to fetch? Uh, that's actually a good question. Let's see here. I don't think I have... Oh, yeah, I should have a Tropical left, right? It's not exiled. There's no tropical island here. So the pile is, um, let's just make sure we have. So Dark Ritual off Scrubland, cast Doomsday, Dark Ritual Doomsday. Then tab Tundra, uh, Underground Sea, Underground Sea for new Teferi. Bounce, uh, whatever, with my new Teferi. Draw, the top card is Thassa. And then I crack the fetch land. 
and fetch the Trop, and then there are three cards left in the deck, and I play Thassa, and I win. Yeah. Um, so let's play this uh, Pluta Delta. Let's uh, play the Dark Ritual. They would need something like uh, some kind of channel effect or cy like cycling effect or something. Or like, I guess, Fairy Macabre to, to nap my, my Thassa right now. There's also a world where we, well, now I made my land drop, but where we make a pile with Emrakul and we could have Sheldog Isle to play New Teferi, bounce their creature, but I think this is, this wins now, so. Oh, we can't force, though, because uh, there's a trap, there's Sasa. Yeah, we can't force because we need to fetch, and we'll, we'll, we're at two. So, whatever. Let's just uh, put Emra cool. And uh, Poseju or whatever cavern stuff. Actually, let's not use the cavern. Let's use a, the plow to hide that in case somehow I lose and there's a third game. So, as long as Thassa's Oracle is the top card, the rest doesn't matter. Let's plus the fairy. Just for sort of being prudent about things. Play new to fairy. And I'm actually gonna uh, plus the new to fairy targeting nothing because I don't think they can do it under a to fairy, but I have once targeted one of my opponent's things and they were able to somehow channel or do something that removed the thing that I had targeted and then the to fairy ability fizzles and I lost when I would have won. Okay, so return nothing. Draw Thassa. Four cards left in the deck. Really hope I haven't over like overlooked anything. They can't surgical. They can't. I don't think they can shuffle my deck here. All right. We drew the Thassa. Four cards left. Fetch. Down to one. Yeah, an opponent was saying they uh, they accidentally clicked into their end step. Uh, at the end of the last turn, they would have played the Bowmasters. That was also what I was sort of a bit confused about. We had the days. I think I might have forced, though, and as we see, even without the land drop, that we have the untapped Lotus Petal. So this line, would the, the way it turned out, it would have worked with even if we had to daze. But I might have forced. I don't know. Would I? Yeah, it's hard to say. Anyways, uh, good grindy game here, and, and we take it um, off to round number three. On the draw for round number three, this is... Oh, I'm, I am kind of tempted to keep this, to be honest. Um, but we do need help from the top of our deck. I am going to keep this. Uh, we're on the draw. We can we get to draw a card, then we can cycle Street Wraith before we have to commit the pedal uh, for a ponder, and the rest of this hand is sort of fine. Mountain Go, so could be uh, Painter, could be Moon Stompy, could be Boros Initiative. I suppose it could be Burn, but not not exactly something there's a lot of. Oh, well, cycle one, cycle the other, right? Okay. Phew. All right, I'm going to fetch Basic Island, I think, because we have a Dark Ritual to pair with no, we, actually, we don't have a Dark Ritual, but we have a Lotus Bell. We can find a Dark Ritual and a Doomsday. Uh, or some more lands, which is also good. Um, yeah, I'm going to put uh, Teferi in my hand and then draw Flooded Strand. Just on the off chance that we're up against a, uh, a Goblin Guide deck, which we aren't. I mean, almost certainly not, but you never know. It's no real cost, I don't think. Double Mountain. Battle Cry Goblin, okay. Yeah, this is uh, one, of the, one of the annoying goblins. Um, but I don't think this is the Force of Will target. And I mean, I'll, I'll have Egg on my face if they plump down a, a Cavern of Souls next turn. So, that is what it is. And this is not a matchup where you're happy to have your life total uh, be under that much pressure. I'm talking about the, um, the Double Street Wraith action here. We don't need... Like, Veil of Summer doesn't do anything here, and I don't think we want two Force of Wills. Um, 
also like one land too many, I think. But uh, all right, let's uh, let's try and ponder. Love to find Doomsday or three lands, you know. Uh, well, there's a Dark Ritual. So I mean, there's that. So if we were to top deck Doomsday, we could like Dark Ritual Doomsday and then um, cast a fairy and LED and bounce something to draw into the pile. So that's kind of cool. But um, we might need to Force of Will something here. Chrome Mox is not something. Okay, right, there's the Cavern of Souls. Boo-hoo. Four mana for a goblin. Oh, it's another battle cry goblin, and then they can activate to give what haste and plus something. Ugh, so much damage. I'm taking six, and do they trigger making more goblins? Something like that. Goblins are so fierce. I take eight. So I'm at like draw doomsday right now, or like alternatively, uh, the one ring could could do something. Um, I'm not gonna. I'm not going to complain about a brainstorm, but... Oh, no. I mean... Uh, now I think I have to find the One Ring off of this Preordain, and then we're still not even... Still not even very happy about where we are. Uh, let's get Scrubland. Oh, it's the One Ring. And is drawing Brainstorm next turn good? Well, I've lost both the Dark Ritual and um, both the Dark Ritual and the Lotus Petal. So do we want to draw a Brainstorm and then draw two more cards? Well, I guess draw Brainstorm, draw for turn, and then draw two cards. Yeah, I think we could do worse than Brainstorm, honestly. It's not entirely impossible that we can salvage this but it is kind of not looking great we did find the card we were asking for so okay so gonna draw a card untap at four life and then see see what we see i don't think they have anything here that can mess with the one ring but i, I could be wrong there's a ringleader sure i mean i'm super dead if i don't win next turn in in, in any case but so they find the Muxus, two Muxus, and a Broadside Bombardiers. This car, I got this card so wrong uh, uh, on a couple of occasions about what it did, but yeah, whatever. Attack with everyone. Who cares about that? Well, I guess it's correct. Maybe they even have to. I don't know. I, I can't be bothered, as you have maybe learned, and to my own detriment, reading all the Goblin cards all the time. But of course it's correct to attack. You, you get more Goblins this way. Um, okay, so now the question is, do I brainstorm first or draw with ring first? Because right now, if we were to find, like, Dark Ritual plus Doomsday, we would have everything. Um, um, I think I draw with the ring. Uh, yeah, that wasn't, wasn't too, too hot. So brainstorm save me. Well, oh, we're just really close. Like if we had, um, if we had like a cycler, if we had found the um, the edge of bottom, but but we didn't. So we we still have one shot left, which is just shuffle with this delta and cast brainstorm, and then hope to find, I guess, dark ritual plus cantrip. Yeah, that's what we need. So let's put away the whatever, doesn't matter, as long as we have these cards here. Okay, come on. Dark Ritual plus a cantrip. Oh! God damn. I'm not missing anything, right? There's, I have no sort of... No way to do this. Is there a way where I can like re play play to fairy and and bounce the ring and replay it? I don't think so, right? 
because as bad I'd lose my whole hand kind of thing. Because I have I would have six mana with the pedal and the LED and the two lands. Yeah. All right. I'm out. Oh goddamn. This is like one matchup where I feel like when I whenever I play something like Storm, I have a really good time, and whenever I play Doomsday, I feel like it's almost like playing against Burn back in the day. It's like their clock is so fast, you, you just can't afford to be like taking time off, like casting like weird spells or not, like, like cam tripping basically, and you end up in a spot where like you they they do after sideboard have quite a few different means to interact with your combo like uh red blasts and chalices and whatnot they also have magas of the moon i think most of them so i want my dismember but i'm not too i'm not actually too interested in, in like trying to play a control role against them it just feels like they overwhelm you so like trading one for one is not super exciting uh, Force of Negation, maybe. I don't think Veil of Summer is good. Uh, so let's board those out. So I'm... Should I want some number of, like... Like, plows? I don't know. Also, like, Shouldered can, like, gum up the ground a little bit, but as they, they go wide so effectively. I'm not sure, like... Like, if I Dark Crystal out Shouldered on turn one or turn two... That could be pretty good, but it's not a guarantee of a win. And if I do it on like turn three to five or six, then I'm probably too far behind. Yeah, I don't feel like I have a lot of good answers here. Maybe it's just force of negation, like because they are they do have Chalice of the Void and stuff uh, post sideboard. Yeah, it's that or like bring in some plows just to I don't know, kill a kill a goblin or. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. And I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna ponder here because I think it's more important to find Doomsday than to just sculpt. Uh, the One Ring. We just saw how that went. They kept seven. Ugh. I think I am actually gonna shuffle these. It might be crazy, but okay. I just redraw ponder. Maybe I'm supposed to play out the pedal, actually. In case they drop a chalice for zero. Would, wouldn't be unheard of. All right. Mr. Sporks, do your worst. Chrome Ox. And maybe that is the force of negation. Like, all, all of their bombs, on, aside from chalice, are, like, creatures. Okay. Uh, we have a daze. I'm going to daze. They might have spirit guide. But, uh... They might also not have Spirit Guide. All right. I mean, I'm going to ponder again. Uh, uh, oh, crap. Crappy Doomsday cards that aren't Doomsday. This is Teferi. That's also not very exciting. I think I am going to dump the petals here. They There are, like, goblins that, that smash up uh, artifacts, but... Okay, so they have four mana. And me with the wrong force. Because uh, I'm pretty sure they were going to play a creature. Yeah, Goblin Robin Lester. Okay, go ahead. Alright. Send the one. Pass the turn. Like, if I draw the one ring, I'm really not even that excited to, like, sacrifice two petals to, to the one ring. Um, I'm going to... Ugh, a lot of sighing here. All right, I think now maybe the one ring next turn is is better because it only costs one petal, and we sort of crucially buy a, a turn, which I think is going to be more critical than what would have been this turn that I just gave them. Um, we'll see. Yeah, I feel super low on this matchup, um, at least with this sort of setup of the deck. Oh, it's a lot of mana. Battle cry goblin, okay. So and now I take a lot of damage. But I don't think I take lethal, right? And the next turn I get to play the one ring and 
and I uh, am set up for a turn of not being attacked. So I'm at five, yikes. Doomsday? Doomsday would kill here, but no, no, not Doomsday. Okay, need to name something that can make mana that pays for or the Oracle. Yeah. Let's draw a card. Please, Doomsday. No, not Doomsday. So we have four, five, seven. So if we were to draw draw a Dark Ritual, we could play Teferi, Bounce Ring, Replay Ring uh, to sort of get another turn. There's a Matron. Do you have something that can interact with my ring? Or is this just like Muxus or Namesticker or something? Just another rabble master, sure. Okay, I'm just gonna pass like yield here. I'll be full like look look dumb if they drop a chalice for zero all of a sudden. Bunch of goblins. I'm super dead next turn. Okay, come on, doomsday. Right off the top. Come on. Nope. Well, that's another the one ring. I don't hate that. Um, we could also play Teferi, but then Teferi just gets killed, like, instantly. All right, how about we the one ring here, and then we keep our fat the one ring. We take two damage down to two next turn. It, I don't think being at two or being at, at four is going to matter a whole lot. I guess like if I if I let my new one ring uh survive then I get to draw one card now and two next turn as opposed to um three next turn. So that is it's the same amount of cards, right? I just I take one fewer damage. I'm not sure it matters. Yeah, I think actually it might matter. So I'm going to keep the new one. I have invulnerability. I draw a, a sort of useless card. Okay, this is a little bit funny. And next turn we can actually do the... Assuming... Uh, well, whatever, assuming whatever. But I, I can like play Teferi next turn and bounce ring and replay ring for another go-around. Look at this army just staring me down. So I take one, I'm at three. Well, that was not good. Uh, that was just incredibly, like, not good. Um, okay. So let's, uh, let's see. Three, six mana. I, I do need to cast the ritual at some point in order to do this, but Let's uh let's try this. See if uh if they like red blast him. Okay, he just resolved. Alright, let's bounce the one ring. Uh we drew a ponder. Okay. I'm gonna save that for next turn probably. Okay, another one ring. They are just F6 here. Makes me think they don't have anything. Um, and I'm just going to move to their turn and draw with the one ring, because that way I don't have to move to this card. Another ponder. OK, so I'll be at two. My Teferi is going to be dead as Dillinger. A lot of mana. Muxus. OK. <laughs> well, what was revealed here? Prospector. Bombardiers. Yeah, none of it matters. Uh, Matron Resolves, of course, gets another Muxus. Well, I mean... I'm getting to the point where I don't think it's sort of unreasonable to think that a Doomsday ought to be sort of forthcoming. Yep. And my computer can almost not keep up with this MCGO board, <laughs> MCG board state. Okay, Teferi is about to meet a gruesome demise. Um, you did well, Teferi. I salute you. 
Okay. Come on. Doomsday? Brainstorm. Okay, how much? I have one, two, three, four, five, six with the land drop. That's seven mana. But not all of it makes black. I think I'm going to start off with this, uh, with this ponder. That's not Doomsday. Shuffle. There's a dark ritual. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna. But, but dark ritual is good. That means we're sort of less choked on on mana. Ah, Jesus, no doomsday. No doomsday to be found. Force of will. That's no good. So I think I have to draw with the one ring. And then that didn't help. Okay, brainstorm, but now we're almost certainly dead. It didn't matter anyways because we didn't find Doomsday. Um, so hang on. Can I th did I board out the LED? I did not. Okay. I mean, okay, so let's put back some lands. And um, let's, let's cycle Lorin Revealed. And get Underground Sea, I guess. Cast Underground Sea. Last chance. Come on. It's fucking 30 cards in. Nope. Well, sometimes, you know, this happens when you're playing Doomsday. All right, GG's opponent. All right, I remember this username uh, as a Delver player and sort of like a... Uh, one of the grinders. I'm going to keep this hand. One land. Wasteland's a uh, vulnerable hand against the Wasteland deck. But yeah. I'm going to cycle this. Although it sort of gives away what we're, what we're about. I'll find another land that's good. And this like pondering here. Instead of keeping open veil. Is a little bit sus. Um. I don't think I hate the Lorien revealed, and I also think LED is like acceptable, but we'll see what we're up against. But yeah, if it's not like uh, a discard deck, or even if it is, like I don't know, I'm okay. This just throws them off veil. Vale. <laughs> but they have fuck me. Okay, that was dumb. Ah, uh, decisions. Now, I, I don't think I want the, the LED, come to think of it. They pitched a Bowmasters. That's a pretty, like, expensive thing to pitch unless you already have an extra Bowmasters, which I expect that they do. Okay, so I am prized into fetching, or rather, uh, into drawing the LED, which is annoying. Yeah, I've, but I don't know. I don't know if the Force would have been worth it. And I like if I just like play Tropical Island, then they just wasted and then cast uh, the the grief. So I think I might brainstorm here and then like Lauren revealed on my on my upkeep. It sort of taxes my mana on next turn, but I still think it's it's okay. And I don't think we can really afford in this situation we're in to play around wasteland again or like more wasteland. Okay. Uh, put away uh, LED and Teferi, I think. And then Lauren revealed for another Underground Sea. And then draw another Force of Will. Um, probably... Okay, I think I pass here. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm supposed to... to ponder. Yeah. So I'm worried about, like them discarding my doomsday and I kind of want to fight over it. Okay, so they they wasteland my tapped underground sea. That was kind of them. Okay, no bow masters then. Oh, when we draw land, that was really good. I think I ponder here because I think I kind of like the rest of this hand. Um, yeah. These are all good. We have Doomsday Redundancy. Um, 
if they do manage to discard us here, I don't want them to know there's a pedal in our common immediate future. So this is the turn. If they don't do anything here or don't discard us, we can put Doomsday on the stack with um, with force protection and playing around days. But yeah, let's see. And that's another grief. Okay. I mean, we planned for this with the with the brainstorm or the ponder from before. This takes us one turn deeper. I'm assuming they're gonna take Doomsday here. Yep. Okay. Then they pass. We draw a pedal and then we just pass again and then we we go again. Yeah. Let's uh let's do that. So if ne if they spend next turn um reanimating grief then i'm okay with that like they can't take us off force and it's only a three uh, like a three two watery grave so it, this is the second time in like two leagues that i'm facing a watery grave deck where i am sort of grown accustomed to it being shot oh sorry uh just blue black scam but uh, actual death shadow yeah all right so here's it here it is so they grief us they take brainstorm would be my guess unless they're like super Sneaky and take the pedal, but uh, if they take pedal, then we can still brainstorm. So yeah, uh, like importantly, we're at seventeen, so we're not like very low. And if there is a bowmasters in their hand, which I expect there to be from the turn one pitch of bowmasters, and there hasn't been like an opportune time for them to cast it uh, in the turns in between. But yeah, we'll see. So I'll draw up to eight. They know our hand. Like spell pierce here would be completely devastating. So if they bow masters here, I force. Okay, so that didn't happen. We want Cavern of Souls. Uh, Thassa. Cycler. I think even like, what could they have, right? They don't have force. I think they have Bowmasters, and I think that they're going to flash it in um, end of turn, which would take me to um, take me to seven, and then they would attack me for five, taking me to two, and then like if I draw consider, but then we lose to like the second card in their hand, which is not unlike unlikely to be a removal spell uh, it's tricky they could also be sitting on a daze like daze bowmasters or daze removal i don't know um i think i'm gonna like do the consider line here that loses to a wasteland though well loses and loses but yeah um I don't know. It's tricky. Maybe we put a days as the last card. So, all right. So we um, we put like days <clears throat> and cavern on the bottom, and then put Thassa, uh, edge, and consider. Then the edge doesn't like. Yeah, whatever is underneath the consider won't really matter. Yeah, well, let's try this. If they do wasteland us, then we can force of will their creature. And then it's like, uh, it's not the end of the world. We're not dead yet. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> this is where the uh, bowmasters come in. So there's the bowmasters. So... If the last card is a removal spell, let me just do the math again real quick. Bowmasters comes in, I go to seven. They have five power, I go to two. Then consider draws a card that takes me down to one, then I can't force, so I think I have to force now. Yeah, I think I'm going to force now. Okay, and let's hope they aren't like able to remove my Thassa or Wasteland me, but I prefer the Wasteland, obviously. And also, like I guess Force of Will here is super like bad for me. 
Oof, brainstorm. Scary. Brainstorm finds Force of Will. What's Exile here? I can't remember. Oh yeah, just black cards that were pitched. Well, it's not Force of Will then. Could still be removable. Oh, it's Bowmasters. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, no. Then we win. Yeah, because now like the damage they would have dealt during combat here uh, is, is no longer a thing. So I'm at 6. Uh, I draw Consider. I cast it. I dump the edge. I draw Thassa. I'm at 2 from Bowmasters. And uh, then we win. Away with you. All right. Well, we won that game despite a pretty disastrous start. All right, cool. So I think we can improve this matchup post board. Uh, so that's good. We certainly want the Shouldreds. We want. Oh, what they? Oh, that's weird. They just uh, they concede the game. Okay. Well. I guess we take it. Maybe they uh, had something to do in real life or something. I don't know. On the well, on the draw, rather, for uh, round number five, I'm going to keep... Yeah, it was a little bit unfortunate that our opponent had to ditch us in the last uh, in the previous round, but we got a good game one. That was I, I thought that was really uh, satisfying, but um, yeah. Another underground sea mirror here. Okay. Well, what do you take here if you're them? You can't take us off Doomsday. Uh, probably take the... Okay, t they take Doomsday. Maybe they have another discard spell. Okay, I'm going to cycle Street Wraith. Um, and then I'm going to play Underground Sea and just pass. If they have another Thought Seas, I want to be able to brainstorm. Oh, but they don't. They just have Bowmasters. Congratulations. Now we have Force of Will. Okay, I think I'm going to cycle uh, Lorne Revealed here and get another Underground Sea. And then I think I pass. And I think I probably Force of Will Bowmasters or cast my own Brainstorm here in, in response to this. While the brainstorming's good. Uh, yikes. Well, let's hide the Doomsday, but what other card in this hand don't we want? Probably the island. Yeah. Yeah. Getting a bit punished by the mana base here, but uh, is what it is. Okay, it's a Grixis deck of some sort. Could still be, could be a storm deck. But Storm Deck wouldn't have... Yeah, maybe they would have taken... There wasn't a Force of Will in the hand, I think, at that time, right? Narset. I really don't want to play against Narset. If I can help it. All right. Fortunately, they weren't able to or didn't care to Force of Will back. Okay. Now we need... Uh, the Ponder needs to shuffle for us here or find Dark Ritual, I guess. Uh... <laughs> Uh, this is tantalizing. Okay, tell you what, I'm going to put uh, Brainstorm into my hand. And then I'm going to just play the Tundra here. And then hope that uh, they don't have Force of Will or that I'm able to find like a, like a green mana maybe on the, the end of their turn. I guess that won't work because I need to I need the land rope next turn to be to be the underground sea. Oh, you can also play it slow, but I'm worried about like when's the next sort of threatening card going to come out. So this would appear to be like Grixis control, which is cool. It's not uh Kisau, James Kisau. Um so I have hope that there isn't a, a nimble obstructionist over there hiding, but uh, could be someone playing James's Snapcaster Mage on Thoughtseize, I would assume. Yeah, I'm going to brainstorm in response. Oh, um, 
how to do this. Like, we actually did find the green mana, but obviously we, we can't protect it. So what happens if I hide Veil vale plus Doomsday? Do they then take Petal or Edge of Autumn? They probably take the Edge of Autumn. And then um, we untap, draw Veil, vale, pass, take two from uh, Snappy. So we're at 15. Then they do something scary, and then we untap, do Doomsday with Veil vale back up. It's either that or sort of Doomsday in the blind here, and they... Something tells me they have a force. So I think I am going to hide Doomsday with Veil vale on top and then hope they don't um, thought seize our petal here, which I don't think makes sense considering what, what they see. Right. <clears throat> okay. I am going to play the Veil vale now. Or not the Veil, vale, the petal, just in case they... Well, I guess if they were to thought seize us here, it's almost the same if I veil or not, but I, 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 I will veil. I think I make my land drop here. Just am able to beat a spell pierce plus force this way. So I'll be at seven after this resolves, if it does resolve. Okay. But they force of will, and they did have spell pierce. Interesting. But they have three more cards. I'm worried they have something nasty over here. So it looks like Doomsday got to resolve. Unfortunately, I drew a bit of a brick. Um, <clears throat> so how about if I put Teferi in the mix here? We could also put the One Ring in the mix. A lot of things that can be put in the mix. If the mix is where you want it to be put. And friends, let's agree that that is probably the place where things should be put in the mix. All right, how does this work? We draw to fairy. Um, we have five mana, so like just drawing to fairy, bounce something, draw Thassa, just wins. We could also. That runs the risk though that if the to fairy gets like countered. We don't have, um, then we just draw Thassa next turn, can't play her, and are vulnerable to having her thought seized. How about if we draw the One Ring, and then that gets countered, and then draw to Fairy? Yeah, I think I like that more. So draw the One Ring. Um, like, also, we're, we're kind of boned to a Bowmasters, though. Uh, let's put. That consider was maybe a, a mistake. Cavern and the consider. Maybe then the consider needs to go on the bottom. Okay. Do you also have bowmasters here? My good sir. They did not. Another Narset here would be kind of kind of terrifying. <clears throat> they obviously didn't have an, a second force effect last turn, so they could have drawn it just now. They could also have drawn whatever else. Okay, costs are being paid. Colligan's Command. Two damage to me, and I discard. Okay. So I'm at three. I'm dead to Lightning Bolts, which could very well be in their hand. Oh, crap. And this one ring is not going to save me from a lightning bolt. I mean, it will for one turn. Okay. How about, opponent, you and I make a, make a pact here that you don't have lightning bolt? I would just love that. How likely is it, sir, that you, sir or ma'am, you don't have lightning bolt? Akira Kurosawa. Akira Sakura. Sorry, not Kurosawa. Okay. It's going to come in the upkeep. And I, <clears throat> could I have beaten this? Like, if I were to, if I'd put, like, I mean, just matter of factually right now, if there was, um, if there was a force of will underneath Thassa, but the problem then is, then they bolt right now, and then I have to draw with this trigger on the stack, and then there will be two counters on my ring by the time the trigger resolves, but... Let's see. Do you have the bolt? 
Yeah. You evil man. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. All right. So out of the sideboard comes uh, Shuldred and Dothy Boyd Walker and Emrakul Sheldog Isle, probably Beseju, most certainly Carpet of Flowers. Um, do we need to insulate versus any creatures with like our own removal? I'm not sure. Let's remove some of the fast aspects of the deck and consider and what else? I think the rest here is pretty solid. Unlike Beanstalk, I absolutely want the One Ring in this matchup. I think it's fantastic. Maybe we do want some Plows. They are uh, an Orcish Bowmaster deck, I'm pretty sure. But then at the, on the other hand, I just want to jam fast here. My creature, my shoulder will beat their Bowmasters. Um, what are we trimming here? I kind of like the one pedal for some reason. I'm not sure why. Let's cut a preordain. Oh, preordain the unwanted, uh, unwanted cantrip in Legacy. Only sees a has a home in, in uh, combo decks. Yeah, this is a mulligan. Uh, I'll keep this. But I am concerned. I have concerns about having my shoulder discarded. Oh, uh, was there anything that, that beat like Bolt plus Coligan's Command in the last game? I don't think so. Okay, put away the basic island. They could be a Blood Moon deck, but I would be a little bit surprised. Ooh, Badlands. Interesting. So, that means probably a Pyroblast. I think I just pass here. And then I probably brainstorm on their turn. And sort of Rashad and Port them here. If they have the Pyroblast. Okay. I was allowed... Alright, I think I'm going to hide Shouldered here. Let's put away Boussaishu and Shouldered. Yeah. And we'll see. I'm not sure about just jamming uh, Shouldered next turn into, like, stuff that counters her, but, but maybe. I do kind of feel like jamming. It is only Force of Will, but then that gets us here. But then, on the other hand, maybe... Uh, maybe I'm supposed to go look for... Something with this ponder. A Veil of Summer would be great. There is a Veil of Summer. Oh. There's even a backup Shouldred, if I were to want it. But I am going to shuffle. Yeah. So, I think I get Trop here. Just in case I don't end up using Veil right now. Like, if they don't counter this, they could also just have... I don't know, like Shoulders Edict, which would be somewhat poetic, but I don't think they have a whole lot of other good removal spells. I could be wrong. Drown in the Lock, maybe? Does that get her here? I think it does. Nazis. Um, yeah, Veil of Summer. It's going to cost you. Okay. Shouldered is dead. Long live Shouldred. Yeah, that was that was not not the best for us. Um, do I dark ritual Lorne revealed here? I think I do. And then if they force of will it, it's a two for two or force of negation. Nice if I had days here. They have to force this if they have it because I already invested two cards. It's like I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Snapcaster Mage is pitched. Okay. Yeah, I'm not loving our spot here, but... Especially if they can commit something meaningful here, like a Narset or their own shoulder or something, I think we probably are losing. Soren doesn't look good. So look at the top card, put it into your hand, this life equal to its mana value. Or create Vampire. Okay, I mean... 
That's, that's a good card, but uh, of all the cards. So they reveal a swamp. So now they drew a swamp. Okay. Oh, I think I wasn't supposed to have the underground sea. Yeah. What was the other abilities here? Create a creature. Flying lifelink, whatever. Let's uh, go like this. And cast yield to fairy. I think I'm going to... I'm going to bounce here in case they're sitting on red blasts. Red blast. And I also kind of want to churn through these cards. I, I guess I should have put the cavern on top if I was going to do this. Because now, like, she'll, uh, second to fairy gets thought seized, which is unfortunate. Yeah, and they do have the pyroblast. They have swamp plus two unknown. Look at the top card. Ooh, Ashiark Dream Render. Well, at least the <laughs> at least the uh, the cavern is going to get milled and then exiled. So it was a uh, cavern, the One Ring Veil plus Polluted Delta Carpet. That's pretty good. Um, all things being equal here. Okay, so I think I'm going to make black mana here. In case I draw a second Shouldred. Um, or I guess I thought they had one more. Oh, it's because the Badlands doesn't doesn't do doesn't do anything here. Spell Pierce. Okay, I mean, I am gonna pay for that. And then I'm gonna immediately plus on nothing to draw a card. Another carpet. Yeah, well, uh, actually, hang on, hang on, no. I'm not going to play it if they want to, like, commit a turn to Thought Seizing Me or something to take that. Oh, I don't know, maybe that was dumb. Ooh, that was, that was terrifying. Terrifyingly destructive. And now Soren can ultimate next turn and deal me 13 damage. Which won't exactly quite kill me, but uh Okay. Doomsday, Shellar Isle, another Teferi. Oh no, that was just the Teferi, was it? No, it was closer in Doomsday, yeah, yeah. Ooh. I mean I don't expect <laughs> I don't expect to to get away with this. Uh but I mean this is one way to uh, to maybe steal this game. They are at 10 life. Are they sitting on a force? They do not appear to be. They do have Shieldred's Edict in the graveyard, so if they, they can Snapcast your Mage next turn. I think I'm supposed to just play out, uh, play out this carpet. Why not? I don't really have any, like, that crazy mana sinks. Okay. So what do you do here? Do you uh, ultimate it to kill her? Right. Okay. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That actually makes perfect sense. And, um... And now both of my shouldreds are gone, I believe. Yep. Dothy Voidwalker, I was funnily enough just thinking about that card. So I'm gonna I'm gonna play it. But it just eats a lightning bolt. So not too uh hopeful about its long term survival here. Or is it gonna eat a force of will? That's fair. Okay. I do believe we have lost this game. What would need to happen? We would need to like run it, runner, runner, draw Doomsday plus uh, Thassa, and then not to have a red blast or something. And then we just Doomsday, which just empties our library. We can't search. Or I guess we would have to, no, yeah, we, we just make a pile with zero cards and play uh, Thassa from our, from our hand. Okay, so. Only one of those, but that is my last non-Doomsday threat. So far, no Thassa has gone to the graveyard. No Thassas were 
hurt in the making of this train wreck of a uh, of a uh, magic game, <laughs> which I'm about about to lose horribly. I was about to say, how do they gain so much life? But yeah, the Soren means they gain life. Okay, I do think that I am actually probably prized into casting this ponder and, and like growing the orc army could also be that i draw the one ring a couple of those are left so but but i think i i probably i have to shuffle this right because i don't i don't expect them to minus the ashrak anymore and while this doomsday was sort of half of what we were missing then i don't want the other two cards okay i'm gonna shuffle Another ponder. I mean, I think I'm okay casting another ponder. Emerald Cole, the Aeon's Torn. So let's just see. The Dark Ritual plus six from the, them. So that's eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, twelve mana. Uh, if we can get them to like make another. Island, that's still only 8, 9, 10, 11, 13. Yeah, it was funny. It would have been funny to, to play the Emrakul. Funny and profitable uh, for all involved. The Shellog Isle is in the Exile Zone, though. Um, so we're not casting him au naturel. Okay, team, what's the play here? Um, yeah, I'm going to shuffle. And now the orc is quite large. It's a 3-3, three, three, so I'm taking four a turn. So it's a like four turn clock currently. I'd be surprised if they weren't sort of also sitting on a lightning bolt. All right, I'm going to play my land, pass the turn. Brainstorm, must be nice to do that. Wish I could... Narset, okay. Narset is good for them because they like get to impulse. Flusterstorm, okay. Flusterstorm is not that amazing right now, but I'm at eight. I'll be at four. Um, no. All right, let's pass. Not force of will, please, or red blast. Just none of those two cards. Also, not lightning bolt, please. Uh, brainstorm. Sure, it won't find anything good. They get another swamp. What, what do you have for me here? Another Narset. Wow. Surely this finds Force of Will or Red Blast. <laughs> finds another Narset. Okay. That was a little bit of a whiff. But um, so now we have to top deck um, the One Ring or Thassa's Oracle. And then in Magical Christmas Land, we win from there. But, uh, uh, but we don't. We draw a Force of Will. So GG's. All right, so a three and two record, not uh, incredibly exciting, and the the win in the in the third round was, uh, or whenever it was, was against a an opponent that sort of uh, had to leave, that just sort of conceded after I won game one, so more like a two two record than like a whatever. Uh, uh, a little bit bummed about losing to the Grixis matchup. I think that's a mat that's a, a matchup that can be fine. We have the tools to fight it, but it just it didn't sort of come off for us. And um, I'm struggling here. Um, yeah, I was struggling. I just had to check the other the other defeat was against goblins, which I I would have to check. But I think I have a pretty bad record against goblins. Um, I, I think that's a matchup where you are like better off being more fast, more clinically turbo driven. But even then, like I'm not I don't it's not a matchup I feel comfortable against because they do have the ability to attack us on different axes. Like I've had chalices come out uh, against this. I have had Magus of the Moon come coming against this uh, versus them. Uh, Mindbreak Trav obviously, pyroblasts and stuff, but yeah, you can't play with fear in your heart, but that's um, that's a little bit that frustrates me a little bit that that matchup is being so tricky, but it is what it is. Um, pretty happy we beat Painter. 
Um, feel pretty good about beating that four color control deck, even though our opponent, um, yeah, they misclicked. But I, s yeah, who's to say what would have happened if I had actually forced? Um, I would have been one life short. If I had dazed, I would have been fine. Um, and it's sort of counterfactual because I don't know what I would have done. But um, but that was a that was a, a fun grindy game. All right. Anyways, I hope you're doing well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, and I'll be back with some more legacy.